are learning new details about a Huntsville teenager whose suicide made national headlines. 15-year-old Nigel Shelby took his own life last week. Many posts on social media say he was bullied because he was gay, but his family told us they want to set the record straight. Way 31 Sydney Martin spent the afternoon at First Baptist Church where a celebration of hope is getting underway right now. Their organizers hope 200 kids will show up tonight to learn about all of the resources available to them if they are grieving or being bullied. It made me cry because I heard that he had committed suicide. And so for me getting the facts on that information, it was just hard to hear as a parent. Janice Willis Wilmer says her son is a sophomore at Huntsville High School and hearing about his classmate's suicide has been tough on their family. Today I spoke with Nigel Shelby's family members off camera. They told me he came out when he was 13 years old that he was gay. They told me they supported him in everything he did. And while bullying may have played a part in his death, it was not the main reason. I told my kids that we don't know what really was going on. Okay, this is just hearsay. And because we don't know the background, as to what could be happening mentally, what was happening at any point in time, all we do know is that he's no longer here. Nigel's family told me he struggled with depression, but he was getting treatment even up until his death. Being bullied will always lead to some form of depression. So it definitely will have a con contributing factor to depression. Now Willis Wilmer told us she hopes other kids at the school are able to talk about the loss of their classmate. I didn't know what was really going on, um, but I do know that he had passed away and I was very concerned with um, how that affected all of the kids as well as the child's experience in the school. This afternoon, Shelby's family told us they are preparing for his funeral and they are too much in grief to talk. They did tell us that Nigel was selfless, he was outgoing, a loving kid who was full of life and wanted to be an entertainer. Suicide is the second leading cause of death for teenagers, teenagers, and that is according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. But take a look at how the numbers jump among gay teenagers. LGBT youth contemplate suicide nearly three times the rate of heterosexual teens, and they are five times as likely to attempt suicide. The number for the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline is 1-800-273-8255. Trained crisis workers are available 24 hours a day through this crisis hotline. Help is offered in both English and Spanish. In the